Hello my dear friends, so welcome back, welcome to your channel Cooking Astrology. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for subscribing my channel and liking my videos. Thanks a lot. So today in this video, let's try to understand one of the most interesting placement of the Venus in Vedic Astrology, that is Venus placement in the 7th house. And what are the kind of results that are associated with this placement of Venus and how Jupiter placement in certain houses is going to play a vital role in determining the complete results. Let's try to understand in this video. First of all, you have to have basic understandings regarding the planet Venus in Vedic Astrology and the 7th house in Vedic Astrology. See on one hand, if I talk about regarding planet Venus, Venus, this is a planet which represents your love life, your ability to show the emotions of love, care, affection and support in front of others. Also, this is a planet which represents your relationship aspect, how good you are in dealing with the relationship aspects with the other people. Also, if you are a male, then Venus represents your wife as well. The characteristics of your wife is going to be determined by the Venus placement into your chart. Apart from this, this is a planet which symbolizes all the luxurious lifestyle, money, monetary gains, all the materialistic riches, all the red carpet events, Bollywood industry, Hollywood industry, everything, even the porn industry, the sexual compatibility, the sexual desires that are going to be present inside you, everything is somewhat governed by planet Venus. So this is quite a very, very important planet. Even Venus on the higher side, it represents the spiritual aspect as well. Because this is the planet which is going to exalt it into the 12th sign of the Pisces. So it shows the spiritual aspect of your life as well. Your ability to do meditation, yoga, learning astrology, numerology, the curiosity which is present inside you. So that is quite a very, very important planet in Vedic astrology. And on the other hand, if I talk about regarding the seventh house, see, uh, seventh house, it is one of the most sensitive houses in Vedic astrology. If you touch it, it is having that kind of a sensitiveness, that kind of feelings are going to be present inside this house. Because this is the house of your marriage and married life. And this is the one single aspect in your life that is going to totally change your life. Whether towards the positive end or towards the negative end. Depending upon the seventh house, I will tell you. This is one of the most, most important houses in Vedic astrology. And marriage is also one of the most important aspect. Relationship, love life, these aspects are very, very important. And apart from this, this seventh house also represents the other people like first house that is you your own personality and seventh house is the people you deal with also this is the house of the partnerships as well if you are going on a business then business is also seen from seventh house any kind of a partnership business which you are involved in so that factors are also governed by the seventh house and even i will tell you this seventh house it is somewhat connected with your mood swings as well your mental activity, how something is going in around your mind, what is your mood at specific moment. Because relationship aspect is going to determine your mood as well, whether you are feeling good or whether you are feeling sad. So that thing is also seen from 7th house. Uh, even the uh, sexual desires inside you, this thing is also governed by 7th house. Because this is the house which represents your private part. So how sexually active you are, this thing is seen from 7th house. So first of all, when you put Venus into the 7th house, Venus is going to do Karka Bhavo Nasho into the 7th house. By mean to say Karka Bhavo Nasho, it means the significator of that house, if it is posited in that house, it is going to destroy some of the aspect of the 7th house. Venus is a Karka or significator of your marriage and married life and 7th house it is also the house of your marriage and married life. So the number one thing when Venus is going into the 7th house it is going to somewhat destroy the aspect of marriage and married life into your chart. Sometimes depending upon the dignity of the Venus, sign placement of the Venus, we will be able to determine the much detailed picture because I have seen lot of practical events where Venus have done the Karka Babu Nasho. Sometimes Venus in the 7th house, it is going to give very late marriage. Even I have seen the denial of marriage with Venus placement in specific nakshatras along with the 12th house Lord placement. Apart from this, if Venus is in the 7th house, must look at the Jupiter placement. Because if Jupiter is having any connection with the 7th house, 
I will tell you this is Jupiter is one of the most single most planet which is going to cancel out all the afflictions of your chart. And as I told you, this is the very sensitive house. So if Venus is expecting your seventh house or it is sitting into the seventh house, it is going to save this aspect of your life. <laughs> Jupiter placement into the 11th house, first house and the third house. If your Jupiter is posited in these houses or even in the seventh house, then it is going to protect the Karka Bhavu Nashu. Then it is going to give that kind of a that probability or the that kind of acceptance to your marriage and married life as well. Apart from this, Venus is a that level of a desires that are going to be present inside you because Venus want to feel that sensual activities always into that pleasurable kind of a mood. So here, a lot of their mood swing is totally connected with their, their day to day life. Their day-to-day -day dealing with the other individuals is going to determine how their mood or mental abilities are going to be. If they are forming a very good relationship with their colleagues, co-workers, with any other people in their job environment, in their career environment, then the Venus is going to feel very happy, very contentment and very satisfied. But if at the some point in their life, if with any of the person, the relationship aspect is somewhat very critical, then Venus feel very uncomfortable. And this is where the challenging part is going to come in their life. Because this is not a very easy placement to hold on in your chart. Although Venus placement in the seventh house, this is going to give you very good looking spouse or very good looking life partner. Even the money and the wealth perspective is also going to rise in your life after getting married. Your spouse or life partner, if you are a male, then your wife is going to improve your financial stability in your life. And that too depend upon the zodiac sign placement and the conjunction of the Venus. But if you are a female and if then your Venus is posited into the seventh house, it is going to give you a lot of masculine characteristics inside you. This is, although it is a like you are a woman is a feminine side of the nature. But Venus going into the seventh house is going to enhance the masculine qualities inside you. These are the very self-sufficient kind of a woman, very self-centered, very highly independent. They don't need the support of any other person. And in the later stages of their life, they tend to realize this thing. Like we are totally sticking with the professional aspect of the life and we are somewhat leaving the family aspect aside. That is the number one mistake like these individuals they make in their life, especially uh, women. Although males are also going to make this mistake, but this thing is going to enhance the feminine quality inside them. In case of a woman, it is going to increase the masculine qualities. So if the masculine qualities are increased inside you, it means you want money, you want professional career, success, growth, professional titles in your life, money, monetary gains, then you are no longer after uh, family and raising up the kids and doing that kind of a thing. So that is quite a very difficult placement to understand. Because in the later stages of their life, after 35, even the 40, then they tend to realize like we have spent our whole efforts, our whole energy into developing into a masculine character. And somewhat they tend to feel a lot of depression in the later stages as well. Because this is the, I told you, this is a very sensitive house. Any planet out of Moon and Venus, these two planets, it is very, very tough for watery planets to make that kind of a hold into the seventh house because this is originally the realm of the Saturn exaltation you understand this this is the Libra originally this is the sign of Libra that is the sign of proper balance the who is going to balance your karmas that is planet Saturn so this is the realm of the Saturn here there is no use of that soft and that planets in this house but on the positive side, if the soft planets are going over there like Venus. So as I told you, Venus is expecting ascendant with its seventh aspect. So Venus longing are towards the ascendant. Venus is always constantly looking for the self-improvement. How can I improve myself? How can I improve my life as well? So that Venus seeking is always towards the ascendant. But on the other hand, the realm that in which Venus is posited, that is quite a battleground. Like they have to do not only deal with their own emotional disturbances, they have to deal with the emotional disturbances of the other people as well. And that is where it is going to 
create lot of maleficness into your ascendant as well. And if the ascendant is getting spoiled by the Venus seventh aspect, then it is quite a critical thing in your chart. In terms of the diplomacy, in terms of the understanding perspective, this is a very good Venus. Because these people, they are having the better understanding towards the relationships. They know how to deal with that kind of a things. Even they are very good in giving advice to other individuals. Suppose you are suffering, one of their friend is suffering from the relationship aspect. So this Venus is very good advisor, like you have to do this thing, you have to do that thing. But when it comes to them, they will not be able to give that same advice to their self. So that is one of the main drawbacks of the Venus. Apart from this, the in terms of the business, if Venus is very, very well dignified, I will tell you, very well dignified, then these people are highly inclined towards developing the multiple sources of income. Then they are no longer after only relationship and that thing. Then Venus value that thing as well, but Venus value that thing as well. Because this is one of the placement. If Venus is having placement into certain nakshatras, this is going to give you a lot of name, fame and recognition in your life as well. And all that kind of a things you are going to receive through your spouse or life partner. Because everything, I will tell you, everything is going to change after marriage. Because as soon as the Venus is getting activated, you are going into the realm of the Venus. Then the Venus is going to start behaving according to the planetary energies of your spouse as well. Because Vedic astrology is an interconnected subject. So there is going to be greater influence of your spouse and life partner chart in your life. And specifically upon the seventh house, look into the zodiac sign placement of the seventh house. And look in that zodiac sign, look into your spouse or life partner chart. In that zodiac sign, which planet is posited over there. Try to superimpose that planet into the seventh house to determine to understand how your after marriage circumstances is going to be. Because even like after marriage, I will tell you, usually these individuals are very, they are very fond of that romantic kind of a stuff. And but they will attract very like non-romantic life partner. Although like here Venus want to experience everything, romance, romantic ability, uh, sexual pleasure, sexual activities. But somewhere I will tell you, this Venus is going to like feel very uncomfortable because the criticism factor is also going to be involved over there. These people are very fearful if some person is going to criticize them, even criticize their relationship aspect. And they are very protective towards their loved ones as well, specifically their spouse and life partner. And they don't want to show, show off their relationship in front of other individuals because they are very fearful of that kind of a feelings, that kind of emotions. They value all that kind of things. Apart from this, one more thing. Uh, if you are having Venus into the seventh house and if it is in conjunction with the malefic planets, like Sun, Saturn, Mars, that bulky bulky planets are posited nearby or even in the 6th house or in the 8th house if these bulky planets are posited over there, I will tell you, then the Venus will feel the like pure death of the Venus. Then Venus no longer know how to survive over there. And in order to sustain or thrive that Venus towards 100%, you must have to chant the specifically the Devki Sutam or like uh, Durga Kavcham. If you chant the Durga Kavach or uh, do the Puja of Shri Lakshmi Narayan, this, this Puja is going to help you to protect your 7th house aspect. So that is going to be a very practical and wonderful remedy for you. Apart from this, voice and the communication is also going to be very perfect if Venus in the 7th house. Even your children, the child worth, your children that are also going to be highly intelligent with Venus in the 7th house. And even I will tell you one more thing. This Venus have the greater, greater amount of ability to cut you from the spiritual side. Because here Venus is no longer inclined, inclined towards the spirituality. They are going to incline towards spirituality into the later stages of the life, not in the early stages. In the early stages, they are only after the things that are represented by Venus. As I told you, in case of a woman, it is going to enhance the masculine qualities. In case of a male, it is going to enhance the feminine qualities. So if the male is having more of a feminine quality, then that person required that masculine woman in the life. So that thing is also going to matter in terms of the compatibility analysis. Because I will tell you out of the 12 houses in Vedic astrology, look specifically into the 7th house aspects conjunction. And I will tell you the 7th house Lord is also going to play a vital role in determining the complete results. 
don't just look like that like venus is in the seventh house so it is going to do that that kind of a thing look where your seventh house lord is going if it is going into the money houses 11th house second house then surely money and wealth is going to be over there if it is going into the ninth house then it represents foreign traveling you are going to attract a foreign spouse or life partner in your life as well if it is in the 12th house very difficult placement to get married so in that way you must have to analyze the whole chart vedic astrology is it is not a subject which is completely dependent upon the one subject we can only give you the brief analysis or the overview regarding the planetary placements it's good if you are have the ability to learn this subject bring that kind of a curiosity inside you to learn more and more about vedic astrology this thing is really going to be very very helpful for you in the longer run so that's it guys from my side in this video i hope you like the analysis if you have any queries any questions regarding your marriage venus placement career consultation any other spiritual consultation do let me know i'm going to respond you back as soon as possible till then please subscribe my channel below and make sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video and follow me on instagram as well till then bye bye and take care